Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something different, something which you guys have never seen in my previous videos. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your phone as a controller for a computer. So it's not going to be a remote accessing your computer. You guys can use your phone as a trackpad, a remote trackpad to control the cursor of your computer as well as to control the music which is playing in the computer to open the drives. You guys can do a lot of things using this application. So I'm going to be giving you guys a review for this application in this video I'm gonna be letting you guys how to configure it on your phone as well as on your system on your PC I can control my computer using this app from anywhere in my room unless my phone is connected to my wireless network I will still be able to access my phone's cursor using my phone this application is available for Android iOS and Microsoft devices so you guys can feel free to download it from Play Store App Store or uh, Microsoft Store so whatever it is you guys can still be able to download this so yeah without wasting any further ado let's hit the intro and get this video started Alright, so let's start this video. First off, you're gonna have to go to Play Store and search for the application called Remote Mouse. As you guys can see, I have searched for it and this is the icon of the application, how it looks like. So if you see this, this is the right application, click on install and this will be installed on your phone. So I'm gonna go to home screen and this is the icon which comes up on the screen after you install this app. Now once you are done installing this app on your phone, you have to come to your computer go to google and search for remote mouse download once you go here you'll get the first link to download click on this and then you'll have to scroll down click on this thing which says windows so this is the home screen scroll down click on windows if you guys are using mac you guys can click on mac i don't know what this is so yeah mac dmg again for mac click on windows and download this application on your system so once you download the setup file for this application run the setup file install it on your computer and you see this remote mouse application icon right here double click on it and it will give you this you know message that it's already running in the background and as you guys can see right here this application is running in the background this weird icon stands for remote mouse that means it's probably running in my computer yeah now we'll have to make a note of our computer's IP address so I'll go to this uh, network icon right here at the extreme right hand bottom corner I'll right click on it and I'll go to open network and internet settings once this page opens I'll click on change adapter options I'll don't so guys do not focus on these because these are my uh, virtual machines Ethernet adapters so I'm gonna have to go ahead and right click on the first one which says Ethernet and I'll click on status once I come to status I'll click on details and this is my computer's IP address which is 192.168.0.104 now I'm gonna have to make a note of it I'll come to my phone now and I will open this app now this is by default opening the touchpad um, I'll go back again uh, I will come back let me just focus focus on my phone yeah so you'll see this page so if you guys have installed this application and if you are opening this application for the first time I will give you the intro so you're gonna have to just skip all those intro once you come to this page you'll have to click on this plus icon at the extreme right top and it will give you two options to go for connect by IP scan QR code so I'm gonna have to click on connect by IP uh, guys let me just focus yeah so let me go for servo focus okay yeah so uh, it's asking me to enter the IP address for my uh, for my PC so I'm gonna have to enter the IP address which is 192.168.0.104 once I enter it so I've already configured my uh, computer's IP so I'll just go to the home screen so once you enter the IP address for your computer uh, you'll just have to click on your computer and that's it so this is the this is the touchpad I'm gonna use this touchpad now and as you guys can see I am using the cursor uh, you know 
from my Android device. So I'm gonna close this. I'll go to this. I'll close the windows. Uh, I'll close this window again. I'll, uh, so I'm closing all the windows using my phone. As you guys can see, I can use my phone as a trackpad. Now there are lots of uh, things which I can do using uh, using this application. I have this phone on my desk, and I'll give you guys the uh, review for this app, the functions, how you can handle this app. So let's jump to my desk. So this is my desktop computer, which I have already configured. Once I click on this, this is the uh, you know trackpad, which is right here I have changed the background by going to settings so if I go here and if I you know slide down these all are the uh, you know uh, these all are the backgrounds which I can select uh, for my trackpad so I have uh, selected you know this water thing to be my background so by default it stays on here on the first wallpaper we can get the volume button remote so if you just turn this thing on you guys can use the volume controller to control the volume of your computer mouse button is turned on gyro mouse button i've never used so guys this is the first time i am going through these settings this is the first time i'm using this app but you guys can go through them one by one and you guys can get the feel of how this thing works um, these are self pretty much self-explanatory tracking speed is something by, uh, which controls the uh, cursor speed so if you guys want you guys can make it faster or you guys you guys can make it slower uh, again depends upon your preference you guys can you know increase or decrease the scrolling speed I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna see what else we have uh, in this app I'll go to uh, the other settings so guys these all are the uh, features which you get get with this app so this is something which can be used as a media control so if you guys are playing sound or if you guys are playing song if you want to control volume if you got if you want to control the tracks so you guys can use this this is to fast forward this is to play and pause this is to control increase and decrease volume this is for playlist um, this is the thing wherein you guys can voice control your keyboard and uh, directly open Chrome, save the file, open the uh, drives and uh, this is, I, I already don't know this what this is. But yeah, you can just click on this and check out what that is. Um, the third option is uh, I think this is this is in regards to your web interface so if you guys have opened Google Chrome you got or else any web browser you guys can actually use this to go for a uh, go um, go forward go back this is in regards to the web page again so go forward the web page go back to the web page zoom in to the browser and uh, this is for home this is for full screen uh, again there are a few of the hyperlinks to directly jump into the web page uh, this is the uh, this is the you know I think this is the numlock pad I think this is the number pad you guys can again use it uh, function keys so this um, so most of them works with the full paid version so uh, if I go escape it will ask me to you know purchase a full version of this so if you guys purchase the full version of it you guys will get the uh, you know get this functions unlocked uh, but I think uh, yeah all of them works with the paid version so if you guys want you guys can uh, purchase this version and all these app all these uh, you know functions will be unlocked for you guys this is to shut down this application if I want to disconnect this application and if I want to use my normal keyboard I can just you know click on this I can shut down this application I can make this application sleep I can log off or else or else I can restart this application so yeah guys that's what I wanted to show you in today's video I hope this video will be useful if you guys feel that this video was good you guys can give me thumbs up if you guys have any question in regards to this video you guys can feel free to write down your comments if you guys are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe there is this red subscribe button right below this video please do consider subscribing to my channel Adam's Tech Guide do not forget to hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button in order to get the future updates about my videos so the links for this software as well as the application will be in the description you guys can click on a link and download this application download the software the setup file in the computer as well as the command for getting the IP address for your computer will be in the description so you guys can feel free to check that out 
Again, it was a quick one for today. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.